We are back in Richmond Park. It's one of my favourite places for wildlife in the UK. Every time we come here, we find something new. But there's one species you're pretty much guaranteed to see on every visit, red deer. We spotted these two as soon as we entered the park. And then, just a few minutes later, we found ourselves almost completely surrounded. It's not advisable to get too close to these deer. Despite being so used to humans, they're still wild animals. But sometimes, they approach you. Which gave me a great opportunity to film them up close. And it was nice to catch something on camera that I've not managed to film before. The starlings that follow the deer herds in search of easy food. They use a technique known as hawking, catching the flies attracted to the deer on the wing. They also land on the animal's backs pick off parasites. A win for both species. What have you got, Bella? Cinnabomus. And of course, I couldn't resist flipping a few logs in hope of spotting a grass snake. But the only reptile of the day was a new species for me in this location. Bit of a mega log, yes, come and listen. Yes, <laughs> you're asking me if I'm sure. It's not it? What have you got? Froggy. A little common frog. No, not on my Steve, not on my Steve. This is the first time I've seen a common lizard in Richmond. Shame it's lost its tail. It's just started to grow back. Off you go, little lizard. And the next log flip also revealed a pretty amazing sight. Two black clock beetles fighting over a click beetle larva. Oh my god! And there can be only one winner. It's going to get away with it, it's well enough. Because it won't hit all of it. Yeah, the other one's defeated. <laughs> and unsurprisingly, we found a fair few common toads and frogs over the course of the day. Speckled wood. And a meadow brown. Nothing. Put it down really gently so you don't squash any tiny insects. Well done. I see you. Another common frog. Right 
Beetle. Dog bark meets leaf beetle. Oh, oh. That one scared that one. Jack's going for the leaf beetle choice. Much less risk of a stinky ending. Yeah. Go, we should go down. And onwards to Penn Ponds. Egyptian geese. Numbers of this species have increased so much in the last few years in the southeast of England. More fluffy chicks. Canada geese. Coots. and one tiny little mallard and its mum. There's another couple of chicks a little further along the pond with Dad. Don't get stuck down a rabbit hole. All in all, a windy but good day out. Now stop filming.